Hey everyone, I'm Dana Johnston, your Norwex Independent Consultant. Just wanted to pop on here and show you a little scientific demonstration on how well Norwex actually works. So, what is grosser than cooking with raw chicken, right? Raw chicken is probably like the grossest thing that you could possibly cook with. I have four plates here that I'm gonna rub raw chicken all over. Pretend that you just made winner winner chicken dinner and you've got raw chicken juice all over your countertops. Now, the first thing that most people, whew, so gross. <laughs> the first thing that most people would reach for when they have raw chicken juice are the chemicals, right? The harsher the chemicals, the more it's gonna clean. Or so the billion dollar chemical industries have us all brainwashed to believe. Have you ever read the back of your household cleaners? Lysol wipes right here on the front say caution keep out of reach of children so whenever i see these on my kids school supply list i'm sending in a note to the teachers explaining why i'm not sending in these poison wipes and i'm sending an envirocloth instead so also on the back it says to sanitize pre-clean surface okay so they want you to pre-clean it before you even start to clean use enough fresh wipes to thoroughly wet surface I don't know how many wipes they're talking about, but probably more than just one wipe to thoroughly wet the surface. Allow surface to remain wet for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, are you doing that? I know I certainly wasn't. Um, then it goes on to say, for surfaces that come in contact with food, rinse thoroughly with water. Yikes. And then at the very bottom, there's a precautionary statement that says, hazardous to humans and domestic animals. It's legal because they're warning you. They're just banking on the fact that nobody reads that. So instead of using the harsh chemical wipes, the EnviroCloth is what we use instead because this mechanically cleans. This lifts 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria from a surface just using water. So let's see what happens when we use glow germ. Now what glow germ is, I'm gonna put a little bit on each of these plates. Glow germ simulates bacteria. It's what some restaurants use to test their cleanliness in their restaurant. It's what med school students use on their hands to make sure that they're washing their hands properly. And basically it's going to just illuminate any kind of um, germs or bacteria on a surface to really show what is being picked up and what is not being picked up. So let's give that a good wipe. And then I'm going to test this one with Clorox wipes. We'll do four or nine on this one. We'll do a sponge on this one. And then we'll do the EnviroCough on this one. And honestly, like when you touch these, you should be wearing rubber gloves because everything that touches your skin, absorbs within into your bloodstream within 26 seconds. So I hate even touching this to my skin right now. But we'll give that a good wipe and we'll see how that fares with the black light. Now we'll test the second one here with 409. Give that a good little spray and wipe it up with a paper towel, which by the way, paper towels aren't white for no reason at all. They're bleached. So every time you touch a paper towel, bleach is leaching into your bloodstream, again, within 26 seconds. And they're expensive, right? How often do you buy paper towels? It is so nice to not have to use paper towels anymore. And think about all the landfill space that you save too. So I love not having to do that anymore. Sponges. Are you still using sponges? Oh my goodness, sponges are breeding grounds for bacteria. They are so gross. More so than that, we're just gonna wipe up this surface and see. I mean, right now it feels clean. This one has a little weight to it. So right now in my mind, you know, this, this feels pretty clean. I feel like I've done a good job. So we'll put it to the test. Now we're gonna do this one with our EnviroCloth. The difference between an EnviroCloth and any other microfiber that you can find on the market is that the fibers are one two hundredth a strand of a human hair. So that's like taking a single strand of your hair and splitting it 200 times. That's how thin and fine they are. They're woven into a five star shape, so it's designed to grab and trap anything that it comes in contact with. 
But then the really cool part is that micro silver is woven inside all of our, or micro silver is woven inside all of our microfiber. And micro silver is a natural antibacterial agent. So basically it's not gonna stink on you and you're not gonna have to launder it all the time like you would a typical cotton cloth. So I'm just gonna take this Enviro cloth and I'm going to give my surface a good wipe with this. And I'm really wanting it to be flat. I don't want any air pockets or anything. I want all of the, the fibers to be touching this um, surface. All right, so now we are going to turn off the lights and I'm gonna take my black light and we're gonna test to see which one came out on top. So. This is the Lysol wipe, you guys. Is that not scary? That did basically nothing. Now granted, I was not doing it completely properly because I didn't pre-clean the surface nor did I let it sit, sit for 10 minutes, but that is basically what's on my surface after wiping it with a Lysol wipe. This is 409. I actually thought this was doing a, a pretty decent job when I was using it, but apparently not. This is our sponge. <laughs> That's pretty disgusting. Look at that. That really just made a big nasty mess all around that plate. I mean, it almost looks like it's the pattern of my dishes, but I promise you it's not. <laughs> now this is the Enviro cloth. Look at that. That's completely clean. This mechanically cleaned it so it picked up all of the germs and bacteria from the surface. Now look at this again. Sponge, 409, Lysol wipe, and Virocloth. So I think that that's a pretty cool scientific way to see how well Norwex works.